Hello, welcome to today's class on C, Ag C, and Ag V. So we we'll understand what this A R G C and A R G V mean in C. Okay. Now, um, before we start, I will start. I want to thank all those who have subscribed, who have supported this channel. Please, if you have not subscribed, subscribe now so that you can get content as fresh and help to support the work, okay? So, what is um, um, ARGC and ARGV? So, in C program, ARGC stands for argument count and ARGV stands for argument vector. Okay, there are two parameters passed in the main function. The AGC parameter is an integer that specifies the number of arguments passed to the program, right? And in that are passed to the program, including the number of program itself. Okay, it's including the program itself. That means they include the name of the program itself. The ARU, the ARGV. Parameter is the array of the character's pointers, with each pointer pointing to a non-terminal string that contains an argument. Okay, I will drop an example in the chat, so make sure you click on that uh, Google Doc to get the full text, okay, full explanation. Okay, so let us quick, uh, quickly go down and answer all our questions. So I will explain to you from here, I will explain to you what we have. So from here, you can see they said the equation, the equation zero says, <clears throat> in the following command, what is ARU, what is ARUGV, ARGV in this element two, okay? Okay, so what is that? Now, if you, if you see in, in, in ARUGV, if you see a remember I said in the ARU in the ARUS ARGC, I said it is the name, it is the name that start it, it is the name, okay. It is the name and it starts from the first name here. Okay. I don't know if you if you recall from the beginning, okay. Is it, it take a parameter which is an integer and it includes the name of the program itself, which is this name here, which is this name itself here. So it, it counts them and include this one from the count, this name of the integer, include this one first, and include the second one, include the second one. As you can see now, this guy now is uh, is, 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 is in uh, double quotes. That means they are all one. And this guy here is, is the name of the program. Remember? So now, how do we count this? You know, in array, the element is from 0, 1, 0, 1, and like that. And this one is 2. So if the argument is 2, and this parameter here is just 1, 1, and 2, and 2. So and you know, in array, we don't count it like that, 1, 2. You start with 0, 1. Then that means the 2 is out of band. Remember? We have done this before out of bound. That means it is not there. It is not in the same range. Okay, so now the answer, and remember anything that is not out of bound, you give it what? A null value. So if you check here, there is nothing here that is that could be the answer. So it is out of reach. It is out of bound. So we pick this guy here. Okay. Now, um, number two question is number one question says, in the following command, what does this uh, a R O G V command stands for. You see, now you can see that the first name this is zero, right? And this guy here is in double quote. This is what one, and this guy here is what two. Okay, that means it is what it is four. Okay, then this other question says in the following command, what is this? Okay, what is this? And you can see here. Now there is no there's no uh, double quote. They are all they are all without a quote. They are all in test form, right? And you know 
that because they are not in quotes, we are going to read them individually, right? So, and we will start, they are, they are going to be, there are four arguments now. There are four arguments separated by space, separated by space, four arguments separated by space. See space here, there's space here, there's space here, one, there's space here, two, there's space here, three, there's space here, four. So the argument is separated by what? Uh, by, uh, there the, the are four arguments and they're separated by, uh, what do you call it, by, by space, okay? So now in this case, what do we do? This guy will be what? This guy here, we say, this guy is, z sorry, this guy here is zero, zero, this guy here is what? One, this guy here is two, okay? So, that is it. So, um, what is ARGV in ARGC, okay? Okay, uh, this is not possible. So, uh, you know, that is an, is, is an array of character that is point. You know, this AA, this guy here, this arrow, this arg V, this argument V is a, an array, okay? That is, a, is, an, is an array of character pointer. It's an array of character pointer which is pointed to the null terminal string that contain an argument. Remember, it contain an argument, a null terminal. Remember, it's a null terminal string. It's pointed to a null terminal string that contain an argument, okay? So in that case, what we are going to do now, the answer is because it's pointing to a null terminal, we'll take this guy, okay? That is my own understanding because it does not exist. But this guy said it does not always exist. So I'm having doubt, which I, I, this is not correct. So because it's pointing to a null terminal, and this guy is pointing toward a null terminal. Okay. So now, what is the argument? What what is the argument B of zero? So the argument B of zero is the name. Remember, I said is the name. Remember here, I said the, is the name of this um, is the name of the program. Okay. So. Uh, so here is the is the, is the name of the program, and this is the name of the program. Okay. So now, what is this guy now? And remember this trap. Don't fall for it. Anytime you see a a, a square bracket, it means multiple answer in programming. So if you, as you're writing a program, there are where you want to drop option. You put the square. This is a square uh, bracket. This is, sorry, square box. Okay, so here now, what is this argument V? Remember, argument V is what? It is it, 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 carrying the size, uh, yeah, it's carrying the size, it's carrying the size of the, the argument C, okay? So argument V is a parameter, it's a, it's a parameter, it's, it's a parameter passed to the main function in the C uh, program. And it is an array of a character pointing to each pointer, pointing to a null terminal, a string. Okay, I don't know if I will be able to explain that that way for you. So the answer here, because uh, this guy is point. This guy, he, 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 if you are counting, if you are if you are counting this guy, now remember you count from zero, zero, one. So it can be size of this guy. So we we'll take this guy. It's kind of the size of this guy, okay? Remember when we have when we have when we have this uh this is the in the in the a a r g c the argument c is counting this guy zero one like that so it's going to be the size it's counting the size of uh it's counting the size of this a g c okay now also an argument uh. Is also an, an, is, a, is an array that contains the program command line argument. Okay, it's an array also. Okay, so yes, it is an array also. Okay, so that is it. So um, yes, it is an array also. So that is it. So 
we will go to the next question now. Go to the next question now. So, what is argument C? The argument C is also the size of the argument vector. Okay, the size of the argument vector also. Okay. So remember this guy is argument count and this argument vector. Okay. And also remember I said this guy, when you see that box, you are not answering more than you're answering more than one question, right? So then the next <coughs> then the next question will not be the next answer rather will be the the number because it's the number of okay, it's the number of command line. Okay, so that is it. I hope we have this correct. So thank you. Let's see. Oh, confirm. So it's, it's, it's there. So that's it. So I will thank you very much. That will be all for now. Please ensure to subscribe and like. Turn on the notification bell for fresh content. Thank you.